Marginal cost is defined as the cost added by producing one more unit of a good or service. Therefore, it is sometimes also referred to as the cost of the last unit. The concept of marginal cost is an essential part of economic theory because it is one of the foundations of profit maximization. So if you're attending any economics classes, you'll most likely have to calculate marginal cost at some point. Luckily, that's not rocket science. We can calculate marginal cost in three simple steps. First, we calculate the change in cost. Second, we calculate the change in quantity. And third, we divide the change in cost by the change in quantity. Let's start with step one, the change in cost. In most cases, costs increase or decrease depending on the level of output. A higher output usually results in higher costs, while a lower output results in lower costs. The reason for this is the existence of variable costs. Variable costs are directly related to the level of output and therefore increase or decrease proportionately. In addition to that, step costs or step fixed costs can also push costs if certain levels of output are reached. Now with that being said, calculating the change in cost is really simple. All we have to do is take the cost before the change in output, that is the old cost, and subtract it from the cost after the change, that is the new cost. To give an example, let's look at an imaginary burger restaurant. We'll call it Margin Burger. On a regular day, they sell about 100 burgers, which results in total costs of 300 US dollars. Today, customers are more hungry than usual, and Margin Burger sells 102 burgers. That means they need two additional patties, more buns, more lettuce, and some other stuff, which drives up their costs to a new total of 304 US dollars. Now, if we subtract the initial $300 from the new $304, we find that in this example, the change in cost is $4. Okay, now let's move on to step two, the change in quantity. A change in quantity results from a change in the level of output. That means a higher output leads to a higher quantity supplied of a good or service and vice versa. Fortunately for us, calculating the change in quantity works just like calculating the change in cost. All we need to do is take the quantity before the change, that is the old quantity, and subtract that from the quantity after the change, that is the new quantity. In the case of Margin Burger, the change in quantity is 2, because they sell 100 burgers on a regular day and 102 burgers today. Please note that even though marginal cost is defined as the change in cost added by producing one more unit of output, we can still calculate it for any given number of additional units. Alright, now on to the final step, dividing the change in cost by the change in quantity. Let's take another look at the definition of marginal cost. We said that marginal cost is the increase in cost per additional unit of output. So by dividing the change in cost by the change in quantity, we can calculate marginal cost over any given range of output. And please keep in mind that the change in cost can vary as the level of output changes. That means the marginal cost of selling 11 instead of 10 units may be different from the marginal cost of selling 101 units instead of 100, even though the change in quantity is the same. So let's revisit our margin burger example again and calculate the marginal cost of the two additional burgers sold today. If we plug the numbers from earlier into the formula, we find that the change in cost of $4 divided by the two additional burgers results in a marginal cost of $2. Or in other words, producing these two additional burgers costs margin burger exactly $2 per burger. All right, that's it. So let's sum it up once again. Marginal cost is defined as the cost added by producing one more unit of a good or service. We can calculate it by following three simple steps. First, we calculate the change in cost. Second, we calculate the change in quantity. And third, we divide the change in cost by the change in quantity. And that's how you calculate marginal cost.